Hey guys, it's John P with GeekBeat, and today we're going to take a look at the new live stream studio HD51. Okay guys, you know how we love the live stream out of GeekBeat here. Well, the folks over at Livestream actually make a product called the Studio, and they have uh, we've reviewed them in the past. They have really, really neat features on these things. One of the coolest things is they're really small and easy to move around and rack up in different places and stuff like that. Well, this is a new model that they've got, the 51. Let's break into it and see what you get when you order one of these bad boys. I don't have the pricing for you at the moment. Sorry about that. We'll get it when we do the full review. This is just the unboxing. So let's see what all we get here in, the, in our packaging. All right, what we have, we have got a Logic keyboard. Now that's kind of cool because it looks like it's been customized with all of their shortcuts and things. Uh, let me see, how do I get this open without destroying the box? Here we go. There we go. Very nice. So you can use all your keyboard shortcuts. That's nice because if you remember, for, if you've ever seen our big TriCaster that we use, we have a dedicated control board, uh, which is in addition to the keyboard. This will let you just use only the keyboard and see things very quickly when you're in the heat of battle trying to stream stuff. Uh, we've also got, looks like a Logitech mouse in here. I'm, I'm assuming that's fairly standard. Uh, look at this. Livestream Studio bits and bobs. I do not even know what bits and bobs are, so I have to check that out. Okay. Let's see, we definitely have our user manual. And we've got black magic CDs. I'm guessing, what do you think, Ken? Does it, does it incorporate some black magic components, you think? Uh, and we've got other drivers for the motherboard and stuff like that. So I guess we've got all kinds of Microsoft Windows Pro 7. So we've got all the documentation and drivers that we might need. All right, we get a power cord with a nice live stream cable wrap. That's a nice touch. We also get a live stream mouse pad. And it looks like these are probably mounting rails for the, for the system in case you want to stick it in a rack. That is my guess. Okay, here we go, getting to the goodies now. Not that there was anything wrong with that stuff. Ooh, oh, there we go. Look how compact it is, it's very nice. So, let's get it out of its protective foam here. I love that their units are so compact, it's, it's, very maneuverable. You could see how you could take this somewhere with you and it's just good looking. Wow. It's got a nice black kind of paint job on it with the red in the front. That's good looking. All right, so we've got a power button here, headphones. Looks like two USB 3s and two USB 2s. Let's turn around and take a look at the back. Okay, we've got our power here, keyboard and mouse. USBs, uh, what is this USB BIOS flashback? I don't even know what that is, folks. Uh, uh, optical kind of digital output here. We've got Ethernet, more USBs. God, there are so many USBs. What would you do with all those, Ken? There's another Ethernet port. We've got audio in and out, and then we've got up to Looks like five different camera inputs and one output, plus another monitor output. So that's gonna allow us to switch up to five different cameras with this little bad boy. All right, so that's what you get in the box when you pick one of these things up. We're gonna hook this thing up, do some switching, do some testing, give you guys a full-on review, tell you all about what, what you can do with it. So stay tuned for that. Thumbs up on YouTube. Stay tuned to Geekbeat. I'm out of here.